guys, it's Amy. I feel like it's been such a long time since I did a bag related video because yeah, I guess I've just been putting out a lot of styling videos and favorites videos and I'm so glad I'm getting back into it. One of you requested that I do a what's in my bag video but specifically from uh, one bag to another, for example, from a smaller bag to a larger bag or vice versa. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Since I've been using three of these falling bags the most for the last couple weeks or so, uh, I thought it would be a good idea to show you exactly what I carry in them. But before I get started, I do want to mention I did get a haircut. You might not be able to see it in this video because I did curl it but it is supposed to be a slanted cut, so a little shorter in the back and longer in the front. And um, it's more, you can't see it right now, but it's supposed to be more of a blunter cut. So it's not, there aren't, there aren't very much layers. There aren't any layers actually. They, uh, the stylist just added a little bit of texture throughout the bottom so that it doesn't just puff up but um, yeah so that's my new haircut I will in my next video I'll just remember to just uh, style it straight I love getting a new haircut and I was dying to get a new haircut for the longest time because my hair was so long it was getting just way too long and I'm not very tall so the longer my hair looks the shorter it makes me look because it was basically at my waist I think if I um, pull my hair back and um, yeah, I, I couldn't wait to get a haircut, but I will have to say that this is a little shorter than I anticipated. Um, I did ask for the cut to be like at this level. If I do pull my longest pieces in the front, it does kind of reach where I wanted my hair to be. Let your stylist know that after curling your hair, you want your hair to be a certain length. That's what I should have really, really emphasized. But it's not too bad. I am wearing this little cutie mini dress. I love these colors. This is a beautiful pink with grays and yellows. I think these colors are so in trend. This flared A-line cut is very flattering on petite girls. So I really love this little dress with pockets. It's so, so cute. So the three bags that I've been using the most the past few weeks are my Twice, Bosch at Mitsis, and my Neverfull, which is on the floor. Um, with the twice, this is the smallest size, medium, and of course the tote is the largest. With this, I like to just um, run errands with it, go to the grocery store, or just, you know, if I have to step out of the house very quickly. Technically, I can do the same thing with my pochette mitsis, but I don't do that because it is a heavier bag, so I feel like it's way easier to grab my twice and go. The twice is also smaller, so usually I'm such a minimalist person, I don't really bring much with me and so the twice will suffice but i love carrying this because it is very iconic i've also featured it in my march favorites especially with the combination with this strap this is the louis vuitton bandoulière uh, in the thicker version there's actually a thinner version that just came out that i saw online and i have yet to check it out on in person but i know that it is longer so it might be very suitable for this bag as well especially for those gals those of you who like to wear this bag crossbody, but uh, this strap is a little short for most people. Even on me, it sits a little higher. I don't mind the look, I actually really dig it. But uh, for those of you who like a longer strap, I think it might be worth it to check out the new strap. I've been carrying a lot of my Deauville, my Chanel Deauville, which is a great bag. I love these two totes. Um, but yeah, this is one of you know this is very comfortable bag i especially made really good use of it on one of my errands day when i had to go to the doctors drive around the city and i was able to like just chuck basically anything in it i also wanted to do a quick review of this organizer i did get sent this organizer by the company dahlia and i thought it was a really um I thought it was a really neat design so i thought i would just show it to you anyway while i do this what's in my bag video I don't really use an organizer on a regular basis um, and yeah it is a mess <laughs> I won't lie but I'll show you how you can possibly organize it with that uh, organizer that I received recently um, had you use an organizer but 
just for the purpose of this video, this is exactly how I had my bag. So I just shoved the magazine in it. That's the beauty of the Neverfull though. Like you can basically shove anything in it and it's still kind of easy to find because the opening is so big. Uh, so I had my laboratory papers and I had my purchased. You know, like when you carry it, it's fine. They are pretty much jumbled up inside as you can see. Sorry, I didn't show you what I bought. So this is the Davida aloe vera hydrating cleanser i love this cleanser this is the one that i've used for years now and this is the Carell patrick Carell hand and body lotion that i've been using for years now as well this is all these are completely natural which i love and this is the other product that i picked up this is new the sappho brand is the brand of makeup that i use it's actually more of a you know, tinted moisturizer consistency. It doesn't have a very high coverage. But I was told that with this new packaging, uh, which is their new formulation, it does provide a little bit more coverage, like medium coverage. So I'm excited to try it out. And then uh, shopping bag. I have my mints, which I keep in this Ziploc bag. Oh, these mints are from Trader Joe's. These are the ginger mints, organic ginger mints. They're really good. I feel like every time I may, maybe ate too much junk food or whatnot and I pop this pop one of these in my mouth, it just makes me feel better. So I love it and also if you have like a mild nausea, headache or whatever, I feel like they do help because it has real ginger in it. Um, got my phone. It's just hanging in there. I have the receipt. My sunglasses are just hanging in there. This is the charger that I featured in my favorites video. I just leave it inside my LV pouch. Oh. Down in here I have... I always put my wallet inside the zipper pouch here. I don't really put anything else in there unless I want it quick access. So sometimes I will put like a lip balm or something. I have my car keys which are attached to this really cute pouch from the sports sack that I got recently. Um, I brought my Emily wallet this time because I went to see the doctor so I wanted to have all my cards and papers and whatnot in it. And finally I have my mini pochette. Inside my mini pochette it changes from time to time but I basically have all my emergency stuff. So I have a bag hanger, this is the cable that goes with the charger this is the little mirror that i bought in hong kong it's magnetic it's really cute um, i always bring a snack with me just in case i'm low in sugar and i always have a lip balm in there um, i also just picked i also just took out my battery because i as i was filming um the battery died so i had to change the battery but usually that's also where i would Fit all of that in my mini pochette on the day that I'm just running errands and I'm just like running from place to place and I don't really have time to organize my bag I just need to take things out and shove it back in or just throw things as I get them like if I get doctor's notes or whatever I just throw them in um, and just have to go to, to the next place or go go back to the to the parking and whatnot to my car and whatnot I just I don't organize my bag at all but maybe on days where if I was traveling and if I had a lot of time to kill, you know, a lot of time to wait, then an organizer would come in really handy on those occasions, especially because it has different pockets. So you know exactly where and what you're grabbing. And it has also, for this one in particular, it has a zipper pocket, which I find to be very useful for guarding of the very important documents. And yes, while you can have different pouches inside your bags, I don't know, sometimes I don't like using pouches either, like sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So it really depends and so that's my general view on organizers but I will still review this one since Dahlia uh, kindly sent me uh, their signature one to review and let me start off with the dimensions. So across it is 28 centimeters, the height is 17 centimeters and the width is about 10 to 11 centimeters. This is made of a pretty sturdy nylon material while it can collapse completely this one and you can also snap the sides um, to fit like different size of bags. I don't 
really know if I would ever have to use these side buttons, but it's there. It also features this little snap sort of string. You can snap itself onto the side here so you can make a little hook. It has several of these um, settings so you can make it bigger or smaller, but what you can also do is also snap it onto this side to make it into a little sling. So it's easy to grab whatever you have in there from bag to bag. The structure of this is very pliable. So I, I would assume that even if you're not using this organizer, you can still shove it inside your tote and use it as needed or bring it with you as needed. So that's the one thing that I uh, feel like this is different from the other organizers that I have. This is how it looks like inside my Neverfull. Like you can see, there is a bit of space right here. And uh, it doesn't take up all the space here either. You will see later when I fill it up that, um, you know, it will be a lot clearer. But basically, this is, like I said, a generic size. It will go from bag to bag. Here's a glance at how it could have been more organized had I used this organizer. Um, this is the product that I just showed you earlier that I bought. just shoved it on the side. And these are also the purchases that I have. Big tub of moisturizer this is the other product that i had purchased so on that day and of course i my magazine i can just put it on the side which will not just flop around and i had my papers from my doctors um, and basically everything else i can just pull out there's a few card slots here which i didn't use at the moment uh, these are flat pockets that are see-through there is uh, one bigger, larger compartment here where you can also put your phone this way. There is another compartment here. So these are the flatter compartments. Um, so this is where I put my phone. And there's a zipper compartment here, which I have nothing at the moment. Two more of these flatter pockets. So perfect for a pen or whatnot. And on this side, there's nothing, but there's this button where you can make it smaller. Here's the little tag of the product. Same here, you can just make it slimmer to fit other bags. One, two, three, four. There's a little pleat here on each of them. So you can see that it does fit a little bulkier thing. So right now I just, for demonstration, I normally don't really bring makeup or anything with me on the daily. Down in here, there are two pockets. So I have my mints and uh, I just put my card holder there. In this pocket, which I earlier had the snap, had demonstrated the snapping of the button there, you can have a large compartment for something that you want to reach quickly. So I have a receipt right now in there. And then down in there is just basically one big compartment. Uh, Actually, there's two compartments in there. This pocket here is not big enough for the water bottle that I normally use, but it is big enough for a plastic bottle. There's also this easy clip-on thing where I guess it's great for keys or for like if you have a work pass, it'll just be attached to your bag organizer. And then there's another little clip here where you can attach basically anything that you want quick access to. So I think it's really well made. The material is nice. Um, I chose it in the burgundy color. I do have the older version, so um, bear that in mind. And really the older version, the only difference is that, I don't know if you can see, mine does look a lot stiffer. It doesn't have this flexible give. I definitely needed my shopping bag. I definitely needed everything in my emergency pouch, so I would have popped it in here as well. Let's just put this at the end. I also needed my keys, my phone, which I can stand up, which is cool. I usually either leave my card holder in the back. I'm very minimal, really, no joke, uh, with my bag. So this space here would be perfect for my uh, camera. So I'll just pretend this is it. With this bag, I would actually just use a uh, these pairs of sunglasses because I won't mind if there was no 
a case that goes with it. I forgot my keys. So what I did is I moved my phone to the back, which I usually do when I'm on a road trip because I don't really need my phone when uh, I'm not in Canada. I don't really, you know, I don't have data, so I don't use my phone. So I did that. And so I did uh, put my keys in the front, two sets of keys and sunglasses on the side and it will close. It's a little tighter, but it does fit all of these things. And it is kind of weighty and that's also the reason why I love using the thicker strap. Now with uh, the twice, I will probably still need keys. I will still need my sunglasses. I won't be able to fit this. I mean, I could, but I, I don't know. We'll see. I do normally need this. I won't bring my charger, but I will pretend that it is my camera. I do need my phone and my car case. So really, it, it still fits everything, honestly, but I will show you how. I don't close this bag when I use it because this is just my grab and go. Easy and fast retrieval. I love it. So what I do is in using the front compartment, I always put <clears throat> my bulkiest, which is the push it and uh, my phone. I do that. I don't close it, but it does close. It does close, but I normally don't even close it. Um, so I just leave it open like that. Down in here, I do my camera and I do my keys and my card case together. I have more keys. And usually I would just be wearing my sunglasses on me. But if I really wanted to, I can temporarily leave it like that on top. Uh, although for this compartment, I do usually close it. So let's just close it now. And if I have to temporarily, I would leave these on top right here and I won't close it. Although I can still close it. So, ta-da! This is everything that was in my push it mix is minus uh, the shopping bag. And that is why I love this bag so much. This still fits more, but I just, you know, I just love the flexibility of this. It's so smooshy and so easy to organize things. And um, it's, it's just so easy to use this bag. I, like I said, I don't even close this. I still have everything I need. <laughs> This is easy retrieval, um, and yet I still have another compartment in the middle. So what I normally use this with is if I have a receipt, I just put it in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love making it, and then thank you for the request. Let me know if you want me to continue doing videos like this because, yeah, I don't mind showing you what I bring with me, but I'll probably be around the same things. Oh, except if I travel. If I travel, they will be a little bit more different. So um, yeah, I might just continue this type of series, just like from one bag to another and the bags that I've been using lately. Um, and I, like I said, I do rotate my bags, but I do, if I use one bag, I tend to kind of like stick with it for a while and then I would rotate it. Or sometimes I use a different bag every day. So it really depends. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you have any more requests. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys are doing really well. I'm Amy. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye!